boys and girls, welcome to the writing station. We are going to be learning to write from a picture. This will encourage you to use your creativity and your imagination. Now, before we get started, make sure to download and print a copy of today's picture writing prompt. I have posted it in the description box below. In addition to the picture writing prompt, you will also need pencils and crayon. Okay, and welcome. We are ready to start our writing. The first thing that we do before we start to write is we look at our picture to see what's going on in the picture and to find out who the characters are and what is the setting. And as we are looking at our picture, we can see that there's only one main character in the picture. It's the pig. And what is he doing? He's playing in the mud. Exactly. Exactly. We know the setting of the story is outside. We have our sun and we have our cloud also in the picture. Now, the first thing we're going to do is label the pictures. Cloud. Sun, S-U-N, mud, M-U-D, and our pig, 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 P-I-G. Now, when we're writing, we're writing and we're talking to the reader. And we're saying to the reader, look at the pig. That's always our, our first sentence so far. Look at the the pig. Let me change my pen. Look at and every sentence begins with the uppercase letter. Look at the pig. And every sentence ends with a period. Let's read their sentence, boys and girls. Look at the pig. Your turn. Look at the pig. Let's count the number of words that are in this sentence. One, two, three, four. Four words make up the sentence, look at the pig. Okay, so we're looking at the pig. And remember, boys and girls, when someone asks you, how is the girl, how does, or how is the animal feel about what he's doing? And we would say about the pig, he's happy. And then the next question will be, how do you know he's happy? Well, what have we learned? That when you're, when you want to express your feelings, you look in their face. He's happy. I can tell he's smiling. If he wasn't happy, he wouldn't be smiling. So we're going to say he is happy. Look at the pig. He is happy. Okay, I started the sentence with an uppercase letter. I ended the sentence with a period. This is a very short sentence. He is happy. Your turn. He is happy. How many words are in this short sentence? One, two, three. Only three. Okay, so we have look at the pig. He is happy. Now we're going to look at the picture again. And we're going to determine why is he happy? What's making him happy? He is laid back with his legs kicked up. He is having fun. It's because he likes to play in the mud, isn't it? He, and we're talking about the pig, he likes To play in 
the mud. He is happy. He's wallowing in the mud and playing. Okay, let's read our sentence. He likes to play in the mud. I started the sentence with an uppercase letter because every sentence begins with the uppercase letter. And I ended the period, the uh, sentence with a period. So let's hear you read it after me. He likes to play in the mud. Your turn. He likes to play in the mud. Okay, boys and girls, we're doing just fine. I'm going to read the whole thing, what we have so far, so you can see how it sounds. You're listening. Look at the pig. He is happy. He likes to play in the mud. And that's exactly what he's doing, boys and girls. And the word pig, we labeled our picture pig, and mud, we labeled our picture mud. Okay. Now, we're looking at the picture again for our final sentence. And we know so far we've talked about the pig, how he's feeling, that he's happy because he likes to play in, in the mud. But then, boys and girls, now you're going to think a little beyond how he's feeling. What about mom? How is she, how is she going to feel when she sees how dirty he is? His mom will not be happy, right? No. Mom, his mom, will not be happy. Neither will your mom not be happy. Period. Okay, let's read it, boys and girls. I'm going to read it first. His mom will not be happy. Your turn. His mom will not be happy. We started the sentence with the uppercase letter, and we ended our story in this sentence with the uppercase letter. Now, I'm going to read the entire story. You're listening. Look at the pig. He is happy. He likes to play in the mud. His mom will not be happy. Okay, boys and girls, your turn. Look at the pig. Your turn. Look at the pig. He is happy. Your turn. He is happy. He likes to play in the mud. Your turn. He likes to play in the mud. His mom will not be happy. Your turn. His mom will not be happy. Good job, boys and girls. You did excellent. Give yourself a pat on the back. Okay, now it's time to do what? Get our crayons and color the pictures. Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to speed up the video when I'm done. I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, boys and girls, we're back. And here's our final picture. Take a look at that, boys and girls. It came out picture perfect. Excellent. I hope you're doing a great job. As a matter of fact, I know you are. Boys and girls, see you next time.